So in order to approximate um, the rate at 75 seconds, we're going to remember the rate is going to be equal to the change in the concentration of A over the change in time. Technically, there should be a negative sign in front here because A is a reactive, but really, and rate has to be positive. And so to figure it out at 75 seconds, we're going to use the two data points around 75 seconds so we can get some sort of an average. So we're going to use the data point at 50 seconds and the one at 100 seconds. And so, you know, if our curve for our concentration of A versus time looks something like this, or we have time over here, concentration of A, and this, is, this would be reasonable to see for like our first or second order reaction. And if this is 75 seconds, we're basically just, the instantaneous rate would be here. And if we take 100 seconds and 50 seconds, we can get something that's pretty close to approximating. You see that these two lines are basically parallel and the rate is the thing that is a parallel line. Um, and so you'll see that those are pretty close. That's why we can uh, use the two data points outside of 75 to average this out. And so for set number one, which is our first order, our rate is going to be equal to, well, we're going to have Point th negative in front, then 0.37 molar minus our data point at uh, 50 is 0.61 molar. And the change in time is going to be 50 seconds. And so for our first order one, that's going to give us 0 0.0048 moles per liters per second or molarity per second. That's the same thing. Our second data set is our zeroth order. The rate is going to equal, well, at 100 seconds, we have zero. Put a minus sign up front. At 50, we have 0.5. That's over 50 seconds. And that'll come out as 0 0.01 moles per liter per second. And finally, for our third data set, which is our second order, the rate will be equal to negative. And then our 100 seconds, we have 0.5 molar. 50 seconds, we have 0.67 molar. Divide that by the change in those seconds. That's 50 seconds. Remember, uh, pretty obviously 100 minus 50 equals 50. Um, and so the rate that we will get is going to be 0 0.0034 moles per liters per second. And so really, it's, you know, this is how you generally do your approximations. You know, if you're trying to approximate a certain time, you'll take the, you know, some of the nearer data points that are around it and uh, do a delta concentration over delta T analysis.